See, I was trying to do something cute, and as soon as I take my tea bag out, I'm trying to make my morning tea. The tea bag burst. Not today, Satan. Not today. So, I'm going to take you along on the day with me. I'm trying to still clean up all these, like, tea flakes, which is annoying. Um, I'm going to still make my tea because you ain't going to stop my shine. So, that's on period. Um, so let me grab my green tea. Like, that has never happened to me before. Like, is it just this brand? No, look at that. <sighs> Welcome to my life. All right, so I've got my tea bag in my cup, mug, whatever you want to call it. Do is I like pre slice my lemon slices because I know I'm gonna drink tea in the morning because I'll probably keep on cutting a lemon. Uh, ooh. So, put my lemon slice in there. Actually, let me do two today. I'm, I'm feeling a little that. Um, I'm trying to stay away from sugar, but that's. That's not real lemon. Oh, come on. Some of the tea flakes got my sugar. I'm trying to stay away from sugar, so I only do two teaspoons for my normal five to six. Progress, progress, people. Um, let me see if I can just take this off. Oh. edit and hey guys welcome back to my channel like i said i want to start vlogging a little bit more um so that's what i'm gonna do today as you can as you saw in the previous clips tea making was a fail so Woo! that's how my day is starting so far it's okay it's okay we're gonna, we're gonna make it work um so yeah spend the day with me i don't really there's not really much for me to do today like I really don't do a lot <laughs> um but i do have to ship out some packages for the sauce um i only have two so that's great um well you know it's great because it's not a lot of packages it's not overwhelming but you know any amount is great for me um i'm going to do the gallery wall in the bedroom there's like two more pieces of artwork that I want to get. Um, but I figured like let's do that together. And also it's because the gallery roll that the art has just been bothering me because it's just been on the ledge and it's just like what are you doing, sis? Put it up. I'm trying to also use the natural lighting from the window, so ding. Um then once I pack the orders, make some products, because I like to make some of, most of my products like very fresh, very, you know, quality. So once I make them, I'll pack them up and then we'll go to the, oh, excuse me, sis, you just woke up, why are you sleeping? And then we'll go to the post office, um, I'm going to work out as well, so let, let me see how I'm going to plan out my day. See, this is why I need a planner. Because I like to write things down, see it, to believe it. Um, and I left my planner in Maryland. Mama, if you're watching this, please mail me my backpack with my planner in it. Ding, thank you. I'll text you anyway. Um, so this is what I have to do. Okay. Make tea. Yes. Eat breakfast. We'll do. Make the sauce products, package the sauce packages, and put them in the post office. Come back home, work out. Make gallery wall, finish gallery wall. Oh, and put up my new um, coat hook for the bedroom. Hmm. How should I do this? I don't know. 
And you know, another thing is like, I don't like when my water for my tea is like boiling hot because I like to drink it like now. So that whole tea bag fiasco thing just like threw me off because it was boiling for too long. So it's fine. Not that hot. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm gonna sit here and try to plan out my day. It is 10:07 right now. I woke up like an hour ago. Um, but of course, you know when you wake up, you scroll on your phone. That's what I'm trying not to do. Oof. Um. So I'm gonna sit here, of course, watch a little YouTube. Um plan out my day see what I'm gonna do and then or do first at least and then I bring you guys with me let's do it side note does anyone else watch a workout video before they actually do the workout video to make sure they can actually do it <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Um, also, I'm on the floor because I like sitting on the floor. Sometimes, you know, switch it up. Okay. Let me get up. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor up this um, wall hook that I got from Amazon because this right here is the only closet in this entire apartment so don't have that much space for hanging stuff my you know thought process for this would be like uh, you know you want to hang up your robes here or like a jacket or something like that I did put more wall hooks on um, like an entryway which I'm gonna do like tours and stuff like the final thing once I'm done um, so I got this off of Amazon for $19.99. I did get the matte black ones for the hallway and they're just so sturdy. So I was like, let me get this. But for the bedroom, it's like a different theme. So wood would look better. Now I did use the anchors. Wow, this is a little chipped. Woo, my luck today. Anyway, I didn't use the anchors for the one in the, um, hallway which I kind of should have but they are so strong that I might not need an anchor but this wall seems a little hollow so that's the only reason why I'm using it now what you'll need to do this is of course your nails and the anchors it comes with these your wall hook a lovely drill <laughs> And uh, typically you will need a hammer, but I don't have a hammer. So I just, I don't know where my hammer went. So I'm going to use the back of the screwdriver. My grandmother has used the back of a shoe, the back of a drill, whatever you can do to like nick it on in. So what I like to do first is get a stool because I'm short. Back on my stool, I'm going to take these command strips off because I have like a mirror here and I moved it. <laughs> That's the theme about me. I just like, whoa. I move things like all the time. Like, that's just too boring though. I have nothing else to do. Woo. Okay, so those are off. Now what I like to do is I'll take the wall hook and I'll take the screws that I will need to drill to secure the wall hook as well. You only need one for this part. And I map up how high I want it to go. So I want it to be about this high, right? And then I take the wall screw, make sure this is nice and straight. You can use a level if you want. I don't have one. I'm pretty good with like leveling things. And I just take the screw and press in there deep to get like a little dot on the wall where I need to drill. Now you can't see it, but I can see it. I can see the dots, okay? Now, what you're gonna do, ouch. Typically, you'll need a different drill bit to 
to start drilling the hole for the anchor, but I just use the screw. And where I put the dot in for the first one, you're just gonna start screwing. All the way in. drill dot. <laughs> so I'm charging my drill. Let me turn off this workout thing. Great. So yeah, let me straighten up the living room a little bit and then I'll start with the sauce stuff. First things first, I'm the realist, like no. <laughs> Let me prep. Um, so what I like to do is of course pull my hair back, um, wash my hands, sanitize my hands, and start making. I just have to make sh some shea butter, um, and apple cinnamon, and unscented, and then I have to um, fill some Rosy Refresh, which is our rose water toner. Um, everything else has been made and prepped, I believe, so let's get into it. So I'm basically done making the stuff for the sauce. This is what the kitchen looks like with the sauce. I don't have a lot of counter space, which sucks. Um, like I just have this like little side over there. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna move. I have a six cube storage unit from Ikea. I think I'm gonna move that in here to put right here. Um, hopefully it's not too big. I just need more space to prep like Especially like the sauce stuff and food prep. It's just like I either have to work on the table, which is like a little too far from the kitchen, or like up here. It's just like a little crowded. So I'm gonna do that now and let's see if that works. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see if I can lay it horizontally. It's like vertically right now. It's kind of tall. I mean, I guess I could food prep on this, but I'd rather for it to be a little lower. So let me take my storage cubes out. Flip this. Right. Wow. I think this might be a perfect fit. You still can have access to the living room. I can like prep on this, which is nice. I can watch TV from here. Why did I think of this sooner? Let's see if I bring it all the way into the kitchen. Can I still open the stove? Yeah. Yes. Success. All right, guys. So I'm going to pack up these orders, get dressed, and I'll see you guys when I'm in the car to go to the post office. Zing. All right. Oh, this is blurry. Focus. Thank you. Um, the girl is dressed. Out the door, smoothie in hand. Um, I didn't even breakfast yet. I just been working. That's a that's a also a bad thing that I do. I just work all day and forget to eat. And I think it's like close to two o'clock. Mmm, so good. Got my packages right here. I am about to hit the car, go to the post office, and maybe do something else when I get out. So I'll see you when I'm in the car. Ding. 
it is a beautiful day sorry your girl looking a little rough i'm just going to post office also i don't know how to like get dressed anymore like i don't dress up anymore i just wear like this Ooh. Mm. so i have to go to the usps ups to return some um boots that i got that did not fit and you know surprisingly I was pissed because the boots that I got, they, um, what am I doing? I do this all the time. Anyway, they took forever to come, like forever to come. And then when I got it, they did not fit. They did not fit. So that's my life. Now I have to go and return them. And I got a great deal on their vagabonds. You know, vagabonds are like 160 and up. They're like genuine leather. Well, actually, we'll go this way, post office. But they're only $72 and they were snake print, but they don't fit. So I'm sitting in the back. So I'll see you guys when I'm at the post office because it's lighting. It's not it. Bye. Alright guys, it is low-key kind of dark in here. So I came back, back from the post office and run an errand. I should have filmed that, but it's like my mom, my grandma called me. And y'all know how that is. It's just hours of talking. <laughs> but um, I picked up some stuff from CVS. Got me some Milano cookies. These are like my favorite snack. Um, this is my favorite twisting butter. I use this in my twist out. Um, it's amazing. I got some Advil because just in case I didn't have any in the house. And then I got this Cortisone 10 cream. I don't know. My mom told me to get it because I have like these like little like tiny rashes, I guess, or spots on my um shoulder, one on my shoulder and one on my um bicep. And it's it's Pippi Rosea. I don't know if you guys know what that is. So <laughs> I have to put that cream on it to get rid of it. So you guys probably saw it in the video if you watched the one uh, previously to this one of me doing my um, bubble ponytail. You saw like that little splotch right, right here. That's Pippi Rosea and I have to get rid of it. So um, let's get back to doing the coat rack. Okay, to pick up where I left off, um, you're gonna take your screw and you're gonna drill all the way in the wall. My drill should have charged. It's been charged for like three hours, so what's up? Woo, this is like work. To the other hole, which is right here. Okay, so what you'll have is two holes in here that you want to take this drill bit and then like put it inside the hole to make it larger. Okay, same thing here. Perfect. So this is now where you take your anchors. This is basically to secure your wall hook, whatever you're trying to hang in the wall, in the wall so it doesn't slip, fall out the wall and all the good stuff. So you're gonna, oops. <laughs> you're gonna take your anchor one anchor and a hammer will be preferred but you can take a screwdriver the end of a screwdriver place it in the hole that you made and then take the screwdriver and oops get it in so then you're gonna take your wall hook your two screws and line them up with the two holes with the anchor inside the holes and just simply drill it in. Now, ideally, having another person will be nice to do this because then while you're just drilling in this side, someone can hold this side, but I've just learned to figure it out by myself because nine times out of 10, I will have to do this by myself anyway, so I'm just going to.
put this in here, put it in the hole, and drill it in. Now it doesn't have to be all the way in yet. Just take the other side, make sure it's even, and drill it in here. And voila, your wall hook is up. <laughs> this is the look that I was going for in the bedroom. Coat hooks here, shoes right here. The majority of my shoes are right here right now, but I'm going to get two more um, shoe racks for the entry so I can share this. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so I got the, what's it called? the wall hook up now I will I've rested like for like an hour or so now it's time for me to do my workout so let me put on the fit okay girls and her workout fit oh <laughs> um I don't I just like wake up every day like how I want to decide to do my workout so I like write down on a piece of paper like a workout for like glutes and abs and I use a resistance band. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's light it off. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Let's do it.